Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Delta Force. So last time we uh, helped safeguard the Indonesian president as he toured the area of operations. And now we will be going after the guy who launched the raid on him with Operation Lockdown. Capture the commander of a terrorist base designated Objective Moore. Mission. Capture the commander of a terrorist base designated Objective Moore. Execution. Your insertion point is approximately 500 meters north of Objective Moore. Proceed south through your checkpoints. Eliminate any perimeter guards you encounter, then proceed to the objective. Pacify all resistance at the objective before you move in and secure the terrorist commander. Success of this mission depends on capturing the base commander alive. Expected enemy forces. All source intelligence collected by J2 suggests that there is that this is one of two primary terrorist bases. Excuse me. As such, it is expected to house a company-sized force. While there has been no indication of heavy weapons or air support at the base, the perimeter patrols are extremely heavy and caution should be exercised while approaching the base. Allied support. Alpha team will be inserted approximately 700 meters northeast of the objective. They will move into position to suppress any enemy forces moving out of the base from the northwest. Charlie team will be inserted into a position approximately 700 meters southwest of the objective. They are tasked with eliminating all southern perimeter guards and then moving forward in support of your assault from the hills south of the objective. Situation. Interrogations of the IMT forces which survived their assault on the Indonesian president have revealed the location of the IMT's main operations and planning base. All source intelligence suggests that the leader of the IMT is currently at that base. Capture of their leader would cripple IMT activities both within Indonesia and worldwide. Further questioning the leader would definitely lead to the discovery of the location of the stolen CDC material. So, we see there's a lot of guards. And we're going to have to be careful to ID our targets so we don't kill the, uh, the terrorist commander. Oh, it looks like they want us to take a Barrett. That's fair, I suppose. We could use this to disable any vehicles he might try to get away in. And then suppress 22. Yeah, I can go for that, so let's get started. Bravo team, move into the camp. Alpha and Charlie secure the perimeter. All right, it looks Roger like King six. we got our first prey up here. This is Alpha Team, We're moving in. Yeah, I've heard that before. Oh. Doctor! Uh. No. So we got a different sniper rifle than at the end of the uh, Chad campaign. We got a 50 caliber sniper rifle that uses the NATO 12.7 millimeter round. Uh, we have doubled magazine size at 10 rounds per mag, but even with a double load, we only carry eight magazines. This is Alpha. We have observed heavy patrolling along this route. And it's uh, semi-auto instead of bolt action, so we can fire this guy a bit faster. Although, even though it's called the Light 50, it's still a really heavy rifle. Alright, that's another patrol neutralized. Take out some of these snipers. There's a bunker on the north ridge. I count two shooters. So, we will have to uh, be careful with our ammo. Oh, there you are. I can see. I think that got him actually. This is Charlie. We're moving in. 
Come on. That should give him something to think about. Take down a few more snipers. There's two by the fence. Oh, we really took out the uh, northern guard of this outpost. We had another sniper. Are you just pretending to be dead? No, okay. So yeah, we burned through about half our ammo now. now. It looks like there's still plenty of hostiles in the base. There's definitely a lot of activity in that base still. Lots of baddies. Charlie two is down. Let's quick swap out the mag and that guy. Take out the patrols there down south here. All right, so we just got one last guy. It's somewhere. to give the rest of our squad some breathing room. God, I really hate how the fencing impairs my visibility. So supposedly there's three hostiles left. Supposedly. Supposedly all the enemies are down. I don't know how much I trust that though. Oh 
we will do is make sure their leader can't get away. Building is clear. Please don't shoot me. On to the next building. Building is clear. They have a lot of uh, nuclear material. Ooh, these look like documents that we could take. So it looks like we'll get some good intel out of this at least. Terrorist leader. All right, the camp is clear. Let's just clear the bunkers. Don't want to get blindsided by uh, anyone while we're waiting for recovery. I don't know what he's shooting at. And amazingly, Alpha and Charlie didn't all completely die. They only mostly died. So nice change of pace. All right, these guys are gone. Let's check out the other bunker that we kind of skipped around. Make sure there's no underground tunnels there or anything. Too bad there's no physics for people. I'd love to push them around into the base. Alright. Two, three, four. Alright. Entire base is cleared. Now let's go intimidate the... Uh, The terrorist leader. I will say this base was actually pretty well defended. I wonder who their financial backers are that they had enough money to build freaking bunkers like that. And I like how they also put them in the building that has the fewest, uh, like you can't really peek in. I mean, let's see, he's here. So the only way you could accidentally snipe him is if you saw him from over on that hill line or from there that hill line or if you were running in. Talk! Tell us the location of your secret rebel base. Oh, okay. I forget how to crouch in this game, so <laughs> we'll just end it here with the uh, terrorist guy. Mission statistics, number of kills, 40. Congratulations on a job well done, Bravo team. The terrorist leader has been captured and turned over to the government of Indonesia for trial. Prior to handing him over to Indonesian law enforcement officer, J2 was able to learn the exact location of the base where the stolen CDC bio agents are located. Bravo team is ordered to proceed immediately to the special operations base near the city of Sarang to prepare for the raid on that base. So, let's see. I guess that's just going to be Operation Shutdown. Oh, that's not going to be fun. Yeah, so it seems like that's going to be Operation Shutdown, or maybe once we do Shutdown, since I think that's the other base that they mentioned the briefing for lockdown that might unlock the final base but either way it seems like one way or another the IMT is finally being drawn down to nothing so thank you all for watching and stay tuned for next time and we'll see you then